Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by tbradley90 in the My Investing Club chat. A general reminder for those who do not know, MIC is having a one-year anniversary event where Bao is going to be trading live in front of our members. It's coming up August 17th. Mark your calendars. As an added benefit for our members, the event is 100% and exclusively free for annual and lifetime members. While lifetime, on top of that, get extra coaching before the event and guaranteed front row seating. While most charge for these events, we show our support by making it, again, free for annual and lifetime members. If you are interested in signing up for this event, DM TBradley90 in MIC Slack chat and or email myself at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. Now, we have a very special video for you guys this week as Chicago trader, real name Matt, one of our head moderators, does his fundamental analysis weekly review. This is episode 27, and let's dive right in. And while today is just a preview of the full-length video, if you want to watch the full-length or any of our exclusive content, then become an MIC member. Hey, everybody. What's going on? It's uh, Chicago Trader checking in for the weekly fundamental video here uh, last week of July. So summer's been uh, pretty hot overall. Um, so we got a few names I wanted to uh, you know, kind of go back and check out, see how they've done. Um, first, I've been kind of reviewing, trying to collect a little bit more data and stuff. And uh, finding you know some more commonalities between things that um, you know hold up, don't hold up, etc. So um, just to start off, I'm going to cover a couple quick names. I know a lot's moving, um, but before we get into that, SLS, I touched on it. I think a couple videos ago, um, you know, they had these. I talked about uh, you know how the pre-funded warrants were you know kind of toxic, and you kind of couple that in with the size of the offering that they did. Um, you know, and again, of course, this is an uh, investment advice, guys, uh, my part or MICs, but they did this um, offering and we can see, yeah, so they were going to, they had about 26 million shares offered. So they were supposed to have around 50 million shares, right, in the offering without, um, you know, assuming no warrants were exercised. So then in the last video I went over, they uh, came out and they said, hey, you know, basically a little bit, six weeks later, I mean, you know, the pre-funded warrants were dumped. They've over doubled. They came out with another update this, uh, you know, just a week and a half later, and it's already up to 225 million shares. So um, pretty crazy stuff. I mean, to go from 56 million and uh, all the way up to 225 uh, million. I brought that one up because I said it reminded me a lot of uh, VISL. It was a very large offering. Um, 11 million. AGP, you know, bottom of the barrel, underwriter, they got all these shares, pre-funded warrants, warrants. I mean, my God, I can't even, let's see how many times warrants pops up. 210, oh God, that's uh, that's getting close to a record uh, for Vysel. But you can see, um, you know, SLS is, you know, it's so cheap. I mean, hey, it's got a little bounce today, but you can kind of see since the offering, it's just been straight down. Same with Vysel. Um, wow. Went from eight dollars down to a dollar. So, I had uh, personally said that I thought it was going to reverse split in the next, you know, or be under a dollar in the next month or two. But that's pretty crazy. But GMP was a mover yesterday on the twenty uh, fifth. Um, you know, wasn't thrilled about it, I suppose personally, but you know, had a nice little gap from um, you know seventy. It actually, I think, it was up here around one seventy one sixty in pre markets. Faded off pretty hard. I got to looking at it. Um, you know, smaller company, thirteen million dollars uh, in the uh, market cap. Got to it, you know, a little bit smaller of a company. I think it had a uh, you know fourteen million shares outstanding. The floats around ten million. Um, you know, I got to look at the cash. This is kind of where I became uh, interested. Five million. Um, you know, there's no uh, inventory or uh, you know restricted cash or anything like that. So you come down here, so you got about $5 million in April 1st. Uh, you know, they're losing, let's just call it $1.2 million a month. You fast forward to now, it's almost August 1st. Um, and you should be on about a month left of cash. So obviously, once you, you know, I come to that scenario, what do I do next? Well, do they have an ATM, um, you know, at the market? Um, you know, there's a whole bunch of, you know, different ways to look. As I've noted in the past videos, didn't see anything. Warrants only brought up, uh, you know, a few. Um, so I went through here. Warrants were at $7. 
uh, you know, stocks way uh, lower than that. So how are they going to raise money? Uh, do they have a shelf, right? The shelf gives you the right to raise the money. So, of course, they do um, here from back in 2017. So this is good for, I guess, another year and a couple months. Uh, you know, $175 million. But uh, this is where you got to kind of come down and um, where is it at? Sorry, guys, bear with me for a second. Oh, yeah, so when you get the reading here, so this is, you know, this gives them the right to raise $175 million in the next three years, which they're restricted. I mean, they're under the $75 million. So how would they do this? Um, they have an equity distribution agreement, an EDA. That's the same thing as a uh, an ATM. Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at Tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T O S H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.